Today I want to invite you to explore the captivating world of Brazil, a country not only known for its breathtaking nature and cultural diversity, but Brazil also stands out as a global pioneer in the green energy sector. And it all started in the 1970s, when Brazil has undergone a profound transformation to make its energy supply more sustainable and diversified. This transformation is so unique in the modern history that I want to take a closer look on this topic. So join me to examine Brazil's history in the green energy sector. The origin, all price shock and sustainable ambitions. It began in the 1970s and it was marked by the impactful oil price shock. The soaring global oil prices not only shook the foundations of the economy, but also inspired Brazil to forge a comprehensive agenda for a more sustainable energy supply and to revolutionize its energy policy. In the middle of the crisis, the government recognized a unique opportunity to overcome dependence on imported oil and position itself as a pioneer in renewable energy. But we need to understand what was the oil price shock and what impact it actually had on the world market. The oil price shock refers to a series of events that occurred in the 1970s, primarily triggered by geopolitical factors in the Middle East. In 1973, OPEC, that's the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, a coalition of major oil-producing nations, imposed an oil embargo on countries perceived as supporting Israel during the Yom Kippur War. This embargo led to a significant reduction in the global supply of oil, causing a sharp increase in oil prices. Subsequently, in 1979, Another oil price shock occurred due to the Iranian Revolution and the subsequent Iran-Iraq War. These events disrupted oil production and further elevated oil prices. The impact of these shocks was profound, causing economic upheaval worldwide. The oil price shocks had several consequences. First, they triggered stagflation, that's a combination of high inflation and economic stagnation in many economies. Second, it also increased the cost of energy and this had a cascading effect on various industries leading to higher production costs and consumer prices. And third, countries heavily dependent on oil imports faced severe economic challenges as their trade balances deteriorated. So we noticed here that the shocks also prompted a shift in energy policies, with many countries diversifying their energy sources and investing in renewable and alternative energies. Additionally, it's also stimulated efforts to enhance energy efficiency and reduce dependence on oil, marking a significant turning point and global energy dynamics. So overall, the oil price shocks of the 1970s had far-reaching economic, political and environmental implications. Now we can also perceive that this period in Brazil marked the initiation of intense research and development efforts aimed at establishing a solid foundation for sustainable energy alternatives. The establishment of research institutions and investments in innovative technologies paved the way of Brazil's subsequent success in the field of renewable energy. And the government had this vision of an energy supply based on local, renewable resources which became the driving force behind reforms in the coming decades. To include more companies and people into this, the government decided the creation of incentives for science and industry, coupled with a vigorous promotion of research projects that laid the groundwork for establishing Brazil as an innovation leader in sustainable energy technologies. This period shaped Brazil's identity as a trailblazer in the global energy transition. So the question is now what resources Brazil used to overcome those challenges. Sugarcane and ethanol. Brazil has an incredible abundance of sugarcane. It's practically everywhere you look. Brazil is one of the world's largest producers of sugarcane and raw sugar. In 2021, Brazil was estimated to have produced around 38 million tons of raw sugar. India, by the way, is the second largest with 30 million tons. So in the 1970s, Brazil demonstrated foresight, but not merely considering sugarcane as a sweet delicacy, but as a strategic resource for achieving energy self-sufficiency. The Brazil government came up with the unique idea. This vision became real through big investments in advanced technologies made to turn sugarcane into ethanol. This action set the base for Brazil becoming the top producer of ethanol from sugarcane globally. Apart from ensuring energy security, Brazil's dedication to this eco-friendly collaboration shows a conscious step towards environmental responsibility. 
Brazil leading in sugarcane and ethanol isn't just about the environment, it also has brought positive changes to rural areas. Growing sugarcane and making ethanol has boosted the economy and created jobs, especially in regions that used to struggle economically. The teamwork of making sugarcane and ethanol in Brazil isn't just a smart move for global energy issues, it also shows how much effort can really change local economies. Brazil proves that doing things sustainably can help the environment and make economies stronger at the same time. Now the question is, what did they use the ethanol for? For cars. You heard right, it's a replacement for fuel. Flex fuel technology revolutionizing the automotive landscape. Brazil's new flex fuel technology is changing how cars work and giving us a glimpse into a future of driving. This cool technology lets cars switch easily between regular gasoline and ethanol, giving drivers more choices and being kind to the environment. It's not just about being convenient, flex fuel is making driving more sustainable by reducing the environmental impact of transportation. And how does it work? Sounds complex, but it's actually very simple. Flex fuel technology works by equipping vehicles with sensors that detect the ethanol gasoline ratio in the fuel tank. The engine control module adjusts fuel injection and ignition timing accordingly, ensuring optimal performance. The specially designed fuel injectors handle a range of ethanol gasoline blends, allowing seamless transition between different fuel types. Flex fuel vehicles are designed to run on varying mixtures, promoting the use of ethanol a renewable and environmentally friendly fuel source. As the world looks for eco-friendly solutions in the car industry, Brazil's flex fuel technology is leading the way. It's not just about driving, it's just about making the change. Brazil is paving the way for a future where cars run well, are eco-friendly and are the forefront of innovation. Export of know-how, Brazil's global impact. Brazil is committed to sustainable goals, not just at home, but globally too. They actively take part in worldwide efforts to protect the environment and promote renewable energy. Brazil's success in green energy has made it global influencer. Their knowledge and technologies, especially in ethanol production and flex fuel, are recognized internationally and it shares its expertise by exporting knowledge and technology, particularly in the ethanol production, to countries in Latin America, Africa and Southeast Asia. Brazil companies help other countries by teaching them how to use clean energy. They might send experts to give hands on help or run training programs. Brazil also shares its knowledge through workshops and technology transfer programs. These companies might invest in building things like ethanol production facilities or help with using flex fuel technology. They could also assist in making good rules and regulations for clean energy. Sometimes they work together with other countries on research and development projects to make better clean energy technologies. So we can see how innovative Brazil actually is and they are revolutionizing this sector since decades and also how they became pioneers in the automotive industry. It is just outstanding what Brazil has achieved since the oil price shock and how they shifted their policy from a country that was dependent on oil to a country that is one of the greenest and global leaders in this sector. I hope you liked this episode. Please subscribe and like the video. If you have any other interesting topics, you can write it in the comments below and I will try to study it and make a video. So thank you once again and see you next time.